So here we have the Volkswagen Polo Automatic on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then this tray section will lift up to reveal a full size spare wheel. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's why we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 2,282. The information being displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel for various menus from navigation to audio, your telephone and driving data, which will give you that digital readout for the speedometer, as well as various different bits of trip computer information. And the buttons that you use to do all of that are on the right-hand side of the steering wheel just there. On the left-hand side, we have stereo controls for the car. Just behind that on the indicator, uh, you can see we've got cruise control and speed limiter controls there as well. Over in the center, this is all touch screen, so you can access your satellite navigation just here. There's a full video showing how that works that you can find on our website um, and also on our YouTube channel as well. Um, Radio-wise, we have DAB, FM and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can either hit the media button just there or go back to the main menu and hit the media button just here, either way. And there's plenty of ways to listen to your own music. You can see those being highlighted on the screen now. Uh, and they include Bluetooth audio. So once you've paired your phone, obviously you can make and receive phone calls, but you will also be able to stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. Uh, so temperature, fan speed, and the direction of the air. The air conditioning is on when that light shows, so off, back on again. This button will recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set here, and you can turn that off whenever you're ready to. And we have a proper heated rear screen just there. Two USB inputs underneath that next to this sort of storage section. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And this button here, this turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. Hit that button, that system is now turned off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.